So I think the best way to start this video with, way best way to introduce this video, to start off with, is with a story. I used to sing, think the same thing as you guys. You're not, you don't have to admit you're wrong, because I laid the same thing as you guys. So it's perfectly fine for anyone who does this. But I, was a, I used to be a big fan of the whole thinking more videos equaled more success. I thought the more videos I watched, the more progress I would gain, the more progress I would gain in whatever field it was in. I used to remember, I remember watching endless Hamza videos. I would sit at my desk all day watching Hamza videos, expecting that to make me a better person. I'd least sit at my desk, at my PC, have like a Hamza video on here, and just be taking notes and making fucking notes all day. And my life never really changed. I stayed stagnant. I really like stalled in my self-improvement and I never got better. And I thought watching Hamza videos was really productive. And each video was making me into a better person. But it really wasn't. I also remember, you know, watching a bunch of, listening to podcasts in the car, doing all that stuff. And it never really improved me. Sure, I knew like facts I could talk about up to with people and whatnot, information, but that never really helped or changed my life. And that's for this one reason, is that more videos doesn't necessarily mean more progress. What means more progress is the act, taking action part of it. After every piece of content you consume, there's always a take action part of it. For example, if you read a book on how to drive a car, the taking action part is driving the car, applying the thing you learned. And a lot of people, what we do is we just consume the information. We just read the book on how to drive a car, and then we never apply it. We never go out and drive the car and actually try to apply it and make use of the information. We watch videos on mindset and stuff, and then we never take the steps that they give us. We watch videos on these habits like meditation and journaling, and they're like, sure, they're interesting, they're entertaining and all, but we don't put these into practice and we never grow from them. So yeah, biggest thing you should keep in mind whilst watching the rest of the video is that more videos does not mean more progress. It does not mean more success. What gets you success is the more action you take. You should be spending your time taking action because that's what gets stuff done. Let's talk about what actionable steps are just so you don't get confused. After you watch a Hamza video or whatever, whatever video you watch on self-improvement, you have to go out and make use of that information or else you watch the video and it did nothing for you. It does nothing for you unless you apply the information and it changes your life in some way. If I were to watch a Hamza video, what's a Hamza video about? Um, anyone, just do this right here and you will make, like his money advice, the one business I would start or like the one thing I would change back in the day. And you watch this video, he gives you the advice. For example, in the one... And the one thing he would change video, he talked about the carnivore diet, how he wishes he would have changed that because it would give him such a clear, more think, better thinking process and would have been able to make better progress. So you have to go out and actually apply that. You have to be like, okay, we're going to switch to the carnivore diet. We're going to do these steps and we're going to try it out. We're going to make put that into practice every day from now on. At lunchtime, I'm going to eat one steak or something. You have to actually go out and put that into practice. Watching the video does nothing alone. What makes progress is doing the fucking thing. For example, let's pull up one of my videos. It was called Straightforward Way to Improve Communication Skills. Not, a, my, not my most popular video. I don't expect you guys to remember it. But basically I talked about do this in this order and you will improve your communication skills. Uh, just to spoil the video because I don't really care. I talked about the way you improve your communication skills is by talking to your camera talking to your camera a lot, and then watching that video back, getting the feedback from yourself talking, and writing it down, what you don't like about it, and improving each time. It sounds simple, but to put it into practice is actually pretty hard. I assume basically everybody just watched that video and then went on with their day. Nobody stopped to think like, you know, this guy might have like a point to what he's talking about. I'm going to go out, I'm going to actually like, after this video, I'm going to close that tab, I'm going to go out to my camera, I'm going to get my phone, I'm going to record myself talking for like five minutes, see how I like that, write down what I can improve on, watch that video back, and 
become a better communicator. I'm going to practice that. I'm going to put it on my habit tracker and do it every day. I'm going to record a five-minute video of me talking, see what I like about it, and then improve each time. I'm assuming most people didn't do that. But the way to actually benefit from that video would be, able, would be to do that step and actually apply it. Most people, they just watch these videos and think watching the video is going to improve them. It doesn't take fucking action. More videos does not mean shit. Watching this video does not mean shit if you don't apply it. And after this video, I'm going to give you actionable steps to improve your life. Let me bring, my, let me bring us to our third point because I know you're losing... I know you're losing attention or your attention on this video right now. So every action you take in the world... Everything you do, whether it's mowing a lawn, posting a video on YouTube, making a habit tracker, recording yourself, improving your communication skills. Every, for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. For every YouTube video you make, there's going to be people watching it, giving you views and stuff. There's going to be a reaction, depending on what you did in that video. Everything in this world, every action has an opposite and equal reaction. So you need to be taking more actions so you can get more feedback and more money and more stuff coming in. Most people don't take action. Main reason why their lives don't improve. I say main. Literally, the only reason people's lives don't improve, the only reason people's lives don't improve is because they don't take action on what they learn, what's handed to them, what they're taught. Also, I want to talk about another thing, which was uh, overthinking. A big thing that I was a fan of, a big proponent of, was overthinking. I used to overthink social skills a lot. I would be like, how do I improve? I'd go to group chats. Long ass story. And I'd overthink. And I'd, I'd sit down for like long periods of time pondering. Like, hmm, what do I have to do to fix this problem? And I was overthinking. And instead of overthinking what I should have been doing was taking action. And I already knew what to do. It's pretty simple. The way you get better at speaking to people and better social skills is by going out and just talking to more people for longer periods of time. And that's how you improve. Just doing it. Just do it. Take action. And I could not see that far. I couldn't see the answer was so much simpler. It's just to take action. And I would just overthink and be like, Hmm, but that's like too hard, you know, it's like too hard to take action. How could I like, what's an easier way of doing that that doesn't allow me to like, yeah, I'd overthink. So don't think on it. Don't think on it. Act on it. <laughs> that should be my new quote. Don't think on it. Act on it. That's actually really cool. Next time you find yourself like watching a YouTube video on mindlessly consuming content, just, um, Make it, make it a thing to act on whatever you learn next time. I'm going to give you actionable steps to take after you've watched this video. I'm going to like leave them in captions. Probably make like a black screen or something so you don't have to see my face. And then go take those actions. They're definitely going to improve your life. I'm going to do this from now on because I want to help my viewers. I want to give them... you know, a better life, better, better everything. I want my viewers to be strong and successful because if everybody I talk to and help, everybody who takes my advice becomes successful, people are going to come back to me for advice. People are going to want to listen to me. So I'm not going to sell you bullshit and I'm not going to try to scam you out of money because that's a short-term strategy. And I'm here for the long term. Yeah, I can't believe people who just like scam. Because you need, you need to have customers coming back to buy your product. The reason uh, grocery stores, the reason Amazon's so rich is because people keep coming back to buy their shit. If you like, somebody buys it one time and they don't like it, you scam them. <laughs> You're just fucking scamming yourself out so much money. There's only so many customers for a specific niche. There's only so many people interested in YouTube content on self-improvement with, like, about me. And if I, like, scam my customer base out of, like, something for a cheap dollar, it's not going to pay off in the long run. And I'm going to, like, 
lose more money doing that. So I can't understand people who do that. Anyways, I'm not going to scam you. Check out the links I have in my description.